If you would like to make your own window treatments or have custom window treatments made, you'll want to know how to measure your window. And I'm going to show you how. You're going to start by measuring the width. You always start with the width. In the professional industry, the width always comes first. So if your window was 72 by 90 and you wrote 90 by 72, they're going to make 90 the width. So we're going to start with the width. And just measure from frame to frame. This window is 36 and 3 quarters. You want to use a good tape measure that can pull out at a long distance without cracking and falling over. So a soft tape measure that you would have in your sewing room isn't the best choice. This is a 25 foot tape measure so I can go way up high with it and far across, but a 12 foot tape measure would work as well. After I measure the width of the frame, I'm going to measure the frame to the sill. And I'm going to use my knee to pull the tape measure out like this. Come down to the sill. On this window, that's 67 and a half. This would be for a sill length drapery. You can also measure to the apron, and that's about 70 inches. A, a sill length drapery falls below the sill. On this window, maybe not a great idea because the sill is really close to the floor. But if your sill is higher up from the floor, a sill length drapery is, or an apron length drapery is a great idea. And then go all the way down to the floor. All the way to the floor on this window is 83 and a half. Now you want to think about what type of window treatment you're doing. If you're doing draperies, do you want them to clear the floor a half inch? You have to subtract a half inch from that measurement. You may want your draperies to puddle on the floor and you might want to add a couple inches. You can also take inside measurements. So that would be inside the frame, across to inside the frame. And you can do the same thing for the length. Inside treatment would be a uh, shear on a tension rod like this, or even a Roman shape. When you're measuring for your windows, if you're going to do a top treatment, you want to think about how far down you want the short point or the long point to be. Let's say we're making a scalloped shape valance or cornice board. I'd want to measure from the top of the frame to an area that looks like it would be attractive, not too far down in the window, but it'll hide all the window frame above. So you want to think about the shortest point and then the longest point for your design. A sketch ahead of time really helps before you start measuring or a picture of what you want your finished window treatment to be. You also want to measure above the window, all the way to the ceiling or the crown molding. So this window is 13 and 3 quarters to the ceiling. And look around your window and see if there are any obstructions. If there is a bookcase, a piece of furniture, a light switch, or another wall, even things like speakers and burglar alarm systems, you want to make sure there's nothing that's going to be in the way of installing your window treatment. Most window treatments are actually wall mounted. They're really wall treatments and they're not installed on the windows. If you're doing draperies on decorative hardware, for example, the decorative hardware will go above the window. So you want to think about how high up do you want your pole rod to be. If you're doing a two inch pole rod, you want to make sure that you go up high enough to accommodate the brackets that you're using. On this window, we could actually put the drapery panels out away from the window so that when the drapery stacks back, you'll have the whole window open, exposing your beautiful view. I hope this has helped you learn how to measure windows so you can create or purchase window treatments for your home.